What is going on guys, this is Lost Yeti here, and today we're doing a Dreamer Orb Guide for Pros and Conveyors. If you guys are new here, welcome to the channel. I do a lot of guides on all of the levels up until this point. Uh, I will be sure to link my playlist of all the Dreamer Orb Guides if you guys need help with any other levels. And if this helps you guys out, please consider leaving a like on the episode. It just lets me know that it's helping you guys out. But without further ado, we're going to be hopping right into it. Now, in typical fashion, I don't like to waste time, so we're going to be going straight to the orbs as quickly as possible. So that way you guys can spend more time playing and enjoying the game and less time just trying to figure out these tutorials. This level can be a little bit difficult. Some of the orbs are hidden a little bit better than others. So I, I totally understand if you have a little bit of trouble with this level. I had a little bit of trouble with this level. I think I played it four times before I figured out everything. But without further ado, our first orb is already in our pocket. A lot of the orbs in this level just tend to be kind of tucked into corners and that kind of stuff. So you got to really keep your eyes and wits about you because these lasers will take any chance they can to knock you guys down. But as long as you keep your wits about you and you don't get hit like I did there, you'll be doing just fine, trust me. Now this is a fully packed level with five orbs, so we're going to be going all the way. And as per usual, we will be finishing out the level even if um, I get all the orbs before them. But if you want to take off, I totally understand. Now, for this next bit, we actually need to time this. We're going to want to roll underneath this platform and fall into this little cavity. When you do that, it's going to release that little platform so you can see, and you're going to have your second orb before you even knew about it. Uh, there's the Rubik's Cube if you should need it for your playthrough. Um, I, I didn't think it was that well hidden, but, you know, some people might have missed it. Um, but as I said before, we're going just straight for the Dreamer Orbs here, so the Rubik's Cube is not on our routes. Fortunately, we're still making good time here, and we got the hit points back. Um... So it's not going to be too much of a trouble. Wait for those guys to jump out of our ways. And keep on keeping on. Going to be making our way uptown. Downtown. Walking fast. And right here is going to be our next orb. What you're going to do is you're going to want to grab onto the sponge. And don't let go right here. Ride it fully up to the top. And it will bring you to the separate area. After avoiding a few lasers. Easier said than done. You're going to be able to grab your next orb. Just like that. And then for our fourth orb coming up pretty soon is actually the one that took me the longest to find. Uh, this one's a little bit of a pain in the rear end because typically you would think the area that it's in you would be falling outside the map. Um, unfortunately, I, I don't necessarily agree with how they hit this one, but totally understand. Here we go. You're going to go right through the thermal scanner and roll right off the end of the conveyor. For whatever reason, this is a spot where they thought that it would be a good way to hide it. But just like that, you now have your fourth orb, one to go. The return shoot is actually well hidden right there. I did not see it last time. So I, I suppose that's why. But you can kind of get a glimpse that it's over there when you see this little uh, passageway right here. Now again, we're not necessarily worried about prizes. So we're going to be rolling right on by that guy. And trying not to get squished by the raising platform. What you want to do is you're going to avoid these lasers and again roll through this little gap. Upon going here, you're going to be in the minigame tent. And if you take the same steps I do, you'll be able to solve this puzzle without too much issue. I don't find it super difficult, but you know, if you're struggling with it, this is what you're going to want to do. Um, all these puzzle pieces are moved by tilting your PlayStation 4 controller or your PS5 controller if you're playing on this uh, on PlayStation 5. And again, you're just going to want to arrange these platforms as I do here. Nothing super difficult, again, but you might have gotten caught up on it, and I totally understand. But just like that, we're going to be getting our last orb. Thank you guys so much for watching if you take off here. If you guys need any other help, please check out my other uh, orb guides. I'll be having them up shortly if they're not out already. And let's wrap up this level. Now, hopefully not getting taken out by these lasers 50,000 times like I was in my Let's Play of this. Um, I should also say, if you guys just want chill gameplay and not necessarily completion, I do have a let's play of this game going up. Again, it's just me checking out the levels for my first time, so that you guys can see my first impressions and how poorly I do with levels, especially first time around. So, uh, by the time I actually put these guides together, I've played through levels a couple times, so don't feel that, you know, if you're struggling on a level or so, <laughs> this is not the first time I've seen the level. And I'm also not saying I'm a pro by any stretch of the imagination, because, uh, some of these levels can absolutely kick my butt. I don't really know why they put his checkpoint there, to be honest, because right here is just going to launch us to the end. 
Although I suppose you could throw yourself off the conveyors. Either way, easy peasy lemon squeezy, we're gonna get another checkpoint, which is literally just gonna bring us up to the end, and we might as well get all these points. I think that's my high score for the level, which is pretty sad, saying how many times I've died on this level before. But again, as always, this has been your host, The Lost Yeti. We're gonna be wrapping it up here. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will catch you guys in my next Dreamer Orb Guide.